Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today, I wanna to do a little tutorial on how to distress your jeans with a Dremel. Now, personally, I use the Dremel method because I think it's the fastest and most efficient way to create distressings while at the same time maintaining those horizontal threads. Now, if you've seen some of my past DIYs, you probably know that I distress my jeans a lot. Now, it's not just the knees. I don't just blow out the knees. I distress sometimes the entire pants. So I gotta use a time efficient method and that is the Dremel method. I wanna show you guys the jeans I've been working on, a little sneak peek, you know what I mean? Show you guys how well the Dremel method works and how much I've done using them. Now this took a long time, this took like nine hours, <laughs> no cap, so it took a minute, but if I did this by hand, it would probably take like, I don't know, five weeks, like a month. So the first thing you're gonna need is of course the Dremel. Now the one that I have here is from the brand Tack Life. I got this off Amazon for I think it was like 40 bucks, 40, 45 dollars. I checked on Amazon and for some reason they don't sell this anymore. But this one I like it a lot mainly because it's wired. The reason why I choose wired over battery powered is because, well for me personally, for my DIYs, I usually have like three to four hour sessions and I don't want to die like midway through those sessions, you know what I mean? So that's the reason why I got wired, I just don't want it to die out on me. Along with this, I use this bit right here. Now this one right here, it's, it's basically like sandpaper wrapped around in the cylinder. Now looking closely at the bit, you can see the blue stains. That's from the jeans. And that's because I only use this part to distress the jeans. I don't like lay flat or anything. It's always like diagonal like that. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Now, if you plan on doing a lot more DIYs in the future, I'd recommend not cheaping out so much on your Dremel tool, mainly because if you buy cheap tools, they're not gonna last as long. But I'm not saying to buy the most expensive one, just don't buy like a really cheap one. I think 40 bucks to like 50 bucks is a good price range. Now, the next thing you're gonna need is a seam ripper, like this one right here. Now, this one, I, th I feel like most people have this one, like the small one. But the thing about this, for me personally, is that I have a really big hand and it does get a little bit uncomfortable because of how small it is. So I did cop this bigger one right here. So let's do a size comparison. Boom, yeah, it's a lot bigger. And the good thing about this too is the handle has two sides on it, which means you can be a lot more consistent uh, with the positioning of you know, this tip right there. Now you can use like a sewing needle or like tweezers or something to replace this. But the thing about seam rippers, this is like two in one because you can use this to separate the threads. But at the same time, you can use the bladed part to make like natural looking distressings. So yeah, there's two uses for this. And the next you're gonna need is any marking device. I got here a white chalk pencil. You can even use a Sharpie. So the thing about this is you're gonna be distressing anyway. So eventually you're just gonna distress over the markings and it'll be gone. Now the next thing you're gonna need is a piece of cardboard like this. It has to be able to fit inside the pant legs because you're gonna use this as a protective layer. So you won't accidentally pierce through the other side of the pant leg. You don't wanna do that. Also, I'd recommend wearing a mask for this method and doing it outside because there's a bunch of lint and dust that just flies everywhere and it's gonna make your room or whatever really messy. So definitely do this outside and wear a mask. You don't wanna breathe this stuff in. Now the last item you're gonna need, or you don't really need it, but I would definitely recommend it, is a pair of gloves. I only really need one just for your dominant hand or the one that's going to be using the seam ripper. This is just to prevent blisters on your fingers because I did it for like a three hour session of distressing. And as you can see on my finger, this dark spot right there is a blister. Um, yeah, it's gone now, but wear gloves. And the next thing I wanna go over is how to hold the Dremel. This may not be the correct way to do it, but it's how I do it and I think it's pretty efficient. And it's to hold it like chopsticks or like like a dart. You know when you hold a dart, it's like like this, right? Or something. You know, just like you know, like that. It's gonna be the same thing, but with a Dremel in your hands. It's gonna be resting on this part of your hand and the tip part right here that's gonna be doing the distressing. Literally, all you have to do is just let gravity do the work for you, and let the weight of the Dremel do the distressing. So your hand is here for support and of course to guide the Dremel. So if you've never distressed before, jeans, the threads go vertically and horizontally. Now obviously, for the most part, you wanna keep the horizontal threads, which means that we're gonna be using the Dremel to cut the vertical threads. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pants and your marking device, so I'm gonna have a white chalk pencil, and you're gonna mark where you're gonna make the distressings. 
Now my marking is kind of faded. So you're gonna mark on your jeans where and how you want your distressings to look like. And then what I do also, because sometimes I still get confused with my marking, is I put an X in the open spaces where I will be distressing. Moving over to my voiceover microphone, draw all of the outline distressings that you plan to make on the pant leg you're working on. You have to do this now because it'll be harder to draw on the pants once the lens starts flying everywhere. Now once everything is marked, take your piece of cardboard and insert it into the pant leg under the area you'll start distressing first. Now I mentioned that the orange bit is what you should use, but really any dermal bit that has a corner, you can use it like this pink one. But let's start distressing. Now this part is probably the most important for keeping as many horizontal threads intact. So when holding the Dremel, always keep the Dremel bit horizontally to the pant leg. Or in other words, the top of the Dremel must always face towards the waistband of the pants. Never turn the bit diagonally or especially vertically. Otherwise, you're gonna end up cutting the horizontal threads. By keeping the bit horizontal, it'll cut the vertical threads while avoiding the horizontal threads. Another key note is again, just let gravity do the work. Only if the Dremel isn't scraping enough of the jeans, then add a small amount of pressure down onto the jeans. But if you add two too much it'll rip a hole through your jeans so just find that sweet spot start off by scraping in the outline of the markings once they're scraped enough just like a coloring book fill in the space inside with a bunch of horizontal scrapes this is to rip the vertical threads so that we can separate them from the horizontal threads in the next step now it's important to get every little space that your dremel can hit so your life will be easier with the seam ripper once you think you have enough horizontal rips put on your gloves and take out your seam ripper in order to complete the distressing we're going to use the seam ripper to separate the horizontal threads from the ripped vertical threads. Always start the separations from the outside and scrape inward. So starting from the top of the marking, scrape downward, and then from the bottom, scrape upward. If in some areas the horizontal threads aren't separating, just go back to it with the Dremel, then try again. Once you're finished, take the seam ripper and carefully scrape through the threads horizontally to remove the excess vertical threads stuck in the distressings. Now here's what happens if you press too hard with the Dremel, it'll just rip right through the pants, which is fine if you're planning to take out a portion of the pant legs, which is what I'm doing here. It's also good to use a seam ripper here to remove the patch in a more natural looking way rather than using scissors which makes too many straight cuts. Once you're done with all of your distressings, I don't know what the English term is for this, but you have to like bug bug it. That's what it is in the look like basically you have to like shake it. Yeah, I don't know what it is in English, but something like that. And then that should clear up all the leftover vertical threads. But yeah guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this tutorial. Hope you guys found it helpful and informative. Again, I use this method because it's the most efficient and I tend to distress a large portion of the pants that I'm using. So this is my go-to method, especially over hand distressing it. I figured I might as well make this video since the Undercover 85s are taking a while to distress give you guys, you know, an upload, <laughs> some content. Undercar 85 denim DIY coming real soon. It is taking a long time. I mean, I expected this, but it's coming real soon. But if you guys like this video or found it informative in any way, shape or form, hit that like button, hit that sub button too. I'd really appreciate it anyways. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out, peace.